All right, guys, good old boy 32 here, check it out. So I'm sitting in my home away from home, getting ready to pack up stuff to go out to the range so I can make some shooting videos. That's what I want to do. I want to shoot. I don't want to sit here and present this stuff to you because basically, well, if you watch the news, you can hear it on your own. But in any case, one of the things that I just saw, and it's alarming as it gets, simply because it goes against reason and logic and that these people are digging to find anything they can in an effort to take away one of the most popular firearms in this country. And what I'm talking about is that the Supreme Court, let me read this to you, this is from NPR. The Supreme Court has denied Remington Arms bid to block a lawsuit filed by families of victims of the Sandy Hook massacre. The families say Remington should be held liable as the maker and promoter of the AR-15 style rifle used in the 2012 shootings. For one thing, I can understand a, low, a lower court being influenced by politicians and things like that, but you would anticipate and you would expect that the Supreme Court would use logic and reason and the law to protect companies out there as well as individuals from illogical pursuits. So anyway, the court opted not to hear the gun maker's appeal in a decision that was announced Tuesday morning. The justices did not include any comment about the case, which means they pretty much didn't want to have anything to do with it. We're going to let you guys handle it, hash it out, and do what you got to do. Remington had appealed the highest court, federal court after the Connecticut Supreme Court allowed the Sandy Hook lawsuit to proceed in March. In recent court filings, Remington says the case presents a nationally important question about the U.S. gun laws, namely how to interpret the 2005 Protection of Lawful Commerce in Arms Act, which grants a broad immunity to the gun makers and dealers from the prosecution over crimes committed with their products. Okay, so as we all say, you know, uh, so is Maker's Mark or Jack Daniels going to be pursued now because somebody was drinking Jack Daniels before they got into the car, as well as whoever the manufacturer of the vehicle because, well, they promoted that their car is really fast and agile. Unfortunately, it just wasn't agile while that guy was drinking and he took out a whole school bus. So what my thing is, no, no one would ever go after the manufacturer. No one would ever go after the alcohol maker. They'll go after the bar for their liability because that's common sense. But what I am saying here is now this just opens a broad spectrum to people and other companies out there and, and asshole lawyers who are going, wow. And you know they are. They're sitting there, oh my God, this opens up a huge uh, cash flow uh, revenue for us that we can just start suing companies. Uh, okay, so anyway, Remington manufactured a Bushmaster AR-15 style rifle that Adam Lanza used in the December 14th, 2012 to kill 21st graders. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, and I'm going to ask all the conspirator, conspiracy guys out there, did they not, did he, I thought he left that thing in the trunk. It wasn't even used in the act of what he did. Y'all, I'll leave the comment section down below. Uh... Moving on, this is going to be a pretty good video here. The families first filed their lawsuit on December 14th saying the Bushmaster rifle never should have been sold to the public because it is a military style weapon. Oh, we can keep going on and on and on about that. All right. Uh, so it, basically every firearm ever manufactured is a military, military style weapon. Period. Let's just bottom line. You guys know it. The only time you ever go full auto is when it was, it's about to hit the fan. Uh, they accused Remington of violating the Connecticut's unfair trade practices law when it, now listen to this, knowingly marketed and promoted the Bushmaster uh, rifle for use in assaults against human beings. What company does something like that? I don't remember any ads going, this is perfect for your next mass shooting. And I could care less if this thing gets monetized or not. But this is absolutely ridiculous. The suit initially centered on a claim of negligent entrustment or providing a gun to someone who plans to commit a crime with it. So basically what they're saying is that uh, Remington pr promoted this thing and marketed it specifically to commit crime. Uh, <laughs> now the case hinges on how Remington marketed the gun. 
All right, we keep going on here. Uh, Remington, <laughs> in March, Connecticut Supreme Court breathed new life into the family's lawsuit when it ruled they can sue Remington for marketing a military-style weapon to civilians. Now the Supreme Court has declined to take up the Remington's appeal and the case will return to the lower court in Connecticut. So now, ladies and gentlemen, this is huge. This is a tremendous battle that Remington, as well as the remainder of firearm companies in this country, have to fight. Simply because if this wins, what this does is it opens up the exposure to every firearm manufacturer for anything that can happen after it leaves its hands. As far as I know, I think that firearm was uh, legally purchased. As a matter of fact, I think wasn't it uh, Lanza who actually killed his own mother? So should the mother be held liable? Should the state and the federal government be held liable because they approved the 4473 in which that firearm was purchased under? Now they're gonna go after dealers? It's, <laughs> um, David Wheeler, who's six year old, and you guys trust me, man, if you, you, yeah, I have a child and, and nothing would kill me more than to have their lives taken at the hands of a madman, but I would blame the madman, not the firearm. This is the act of lawyers right here and parents who do not have a clear understanding about firearms. In any case, uh, yeah. So the whole thing stems to this. Uh, if this thing, and it will go down to the lower courts on a district court, and there will be decision made in the near future on this whole thing, a battle will be fought, and whatever that decision that comes down from this, it will impact us all, either positively if Remington wins, or incredibly negative if they lose. Because what's gonna happen is that, hey, they could come after us at YouTube for, I don't know, illustrating how to shoot targets faster or better. Where's the liability end after the shooter uh, is taken out? Is that the right word? Think about it, man. Let's go to Boy32. That's some words to think about. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. This is some serious stuff, and I thought you needed to know about it. In any case, we always aim to like this. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless his men, women, in uniform 24-7 for our freedom, because freedom is not free. Go to Boy32. I'm out. Y'all be good.